Hi there, Susie Kerr Wright, the Cosmic Cupcake with your forecast for May 2nd through the 9th. Actually, it's now going to be May 3rd through the 9th. I'm a day late, I'm sorry. I uh, had a bunch of stuff to work on yesterday, all related to my secret plan for world domination, um, which uh, I cannot share with you now for at least another week, unfortunately. So, But you will soon know, my pets what my big plans are. Uh, so our void, of course, moons this week. Uh, we have one coming up on Friday at 2.02 p.m. to 10.20 p.m. And then the moon is going to enter into transformative Scorpio. And we're going to talk about that moon in a minute. Sunday at 8.14 a.m. to 9.39 p.m. So basically all day Sunday, uh, you don't want to do anything that you don't want to do during a void, of course, moon. So, um, and then it's going to glide into optimistic Sagittarius. And fin finally, on Tuesday the 8th at 9.34 p.m. to 10 p.m. PM, the moon will be void and then it's going to move into business like Capricorn. So the big astro news this week is Saturday's full super moon in Scorpio. It's also Cinco de Mayo. Wee Can you say intense? For the next few days we're going to be feeling a uh, uh, feeling a dose of like a really good hard look at our strengths and weaknesses our true motives are going to be pushing through and trying to bring us to a more true version of ourselves so we <laughs> sound like fun uh, the daily planetary guide refers to this as a time when our feelings become a bit like an artichoke prickly on the outside so they can protect the soft parts on the inside so as you're experiencing your own version of truth and growth this week remember Others are too, and conflicts that arise need to be taken one of two ways, okay? Either as an indicator of what you may need to shift in yourself, because you remember people are mirrors of how we feel about ourselves or things that we need to look at, or with a grain of salt, because, you know, again, you got to remember that it may just have nothing to do with you if people are a little snippy and snappy. So the moon is hanging. opposing Jupiter and Taurus. Now Jupiter is generally positive. It's about abundance and good luck and all that stuff. But when it comes to emotions running at, at this level and with it being in Taurus, it could bring you up against the immovable object. Okay, um, or you know that seething volcano. It's a you know my brother always uh, for, who lives in Hawaii, Greg. Hey, hey, Greg. Um, he always sends me uh, calendars from Hawaii and and. Um, every year and I flip this one over to May and there's this picture of this exploding volcano and the big island there and I thought wow that's kind of very appropriate for the beginning of this month <laughs> so this is powerful now, stuff as I always week. tell you full moons are times of culmination the things were created that, that we've created are illuminated under her lovely light so your goals are fulfilled do you know where you're gonna go with them next so the next moon phase will give you the chance to share your ideas but for now emotions are just big and lots of people adding alcohol to that kind of intensity on Cinco de Mayo just be careful so uh, so in what areas will this energy impact you well let's see let's go by Sun sign or ascendant here Aries this is gonna hit you in your house of money and sex Woohoo! <laughs> so you could be experiencing a financial gain that you've been hoping for and don't waste time bragging about it just uh, plan to spend it wisely so use some of that uh, Taurus energy to ground you a little bit with it Taurus if you're in a relationship this is going to bring you a chance to clear the air no more hidden agendas which frees you up for a romantic outcome and if you're not in a relationship this could be a time where you make a very passionate connection so Gemini your ruler Mercury is having a tough time with Saturn at the moment but that's actually a good thing Saturn helps you think um, maybe before you rip your co-worker a new one so remember to count to 10 before striking out cancer your house of creativity children love affairs is where the super moon is sitting so give yourself permission to blow off some steam have a little fun you know especially if you've been overworking so flirt play be silly just kind of enjoy yourself um leo leo home versus work is your challenge this week the full moon's going to draw your attention to any unfinished business at home or, or you know, and uh, work is going to feel like you're trying to move mountains here so especially uh, so the uh, the expression that i that came to mind was that is how do you eat an elephant um, one bite at a time so just go easy on yourself Virgo your ruling planet is under fire that early in this week leaving you over analyzing recent events focus your energy instead on taking care of little projects and errands and maybe learning something new Libra your house of values and valuables is in the spotlight so are you putting too much emphasis on possessions or not enough emphasis on creating your own 
financial stability. So are you really worth what you think you are? Or do you need to ask for what you're worth? Um, lots to ponder this week. Just kind of keep those thoughts in mind. Scorpio, full moon is in your sign in your first house. So under the spotlight, underlying emotions can leave you feeling depleted or exposed. But plans put into motion now can have excellent results. Sagittarius, focus and follow through are your themes this week. Uh, that feeling of being stuck is actually to your advantage. Slow down. You'll be able to catch potential mistakes that can save you a lot of embarrassment, especially in the work arena. Capricorn, here you go. This is really your type of energy. This week can bring you support from some Scorpios, too or other friends in general. Socializing in moderation, it can bring some valuable connections into your sphere. Aquarius, your uh, career or lack of it is the topic of everyone's interest. Everyone's interest. Why are they talking about you? What are you doing? Family's going to challenge you to focus on your career goals from a more practical point of view, but that's what families do, right? Consider some of what they have to say, though. There may be some truth to it. Uh, Pisces, your ninth house of travel and higher thought can have you planning an exotic vacation or feeling like you want to run away and join the circus. <laughs> but with this energy, your intuition is very highly accurate right now. So when you slow down long enough to listen, the answers are going to be right there. You're going to know. So as always, if you'd like to know how these planets impact you personally, you can contact me, Susie Kerr Wright, at www.astrogirl12.com. Just go to my website, check it out, and contact me for a reading. Um, that's all I got for you this week. I think I will be on Sunday night. Yes, Sunday night I will be on Blog Talk. So uh, tune in. It's 5.30 Central Time and uh, do little talks on Law of Attraction, what's coming up astrologically for the next week, and uh, as well as take some phone calls and give some free mini readings. So tune in for that. And um, that's all I got for you this week. As always, have a sweet and delicious week. This is the Cosmic Cupcake Susie Kerr Wright saying see ya.